This video will cover an introduction to integration, which forms a key part of the AP Math syllabus. Um, I think it's best to go through examples when dealing with this section, as there's not that much theory that you need to know. It's just practice, practice, practice. Uh, first example, just how to identify that we need to integrate. We can see obviously our integral sine, our dx, which also um, tells us that we need to integrate. And then what we do is we're looking for, um, is the bracket on the right hand side of this bracket um, the derivative of what's inside the bracket? So we can say, okay, if we had to derive what's inside the bracket, we would get 3x squared plus 6x. So this helps us and it brings me to explaining the first rule. If you have the derivative of what's inside the bracket alongside the original bracket to any power, you can simply rewrite the original bracket. So as I've rewritten it here, you bring that down. You add one to the power, so it goes from five to six, and you divide by the number you now have. So I now have six on our power, so we divide by six. And then we always add C. That is the fundamental rule for integration. If we move over to our second example, slightly tougher, although based on the same principles. Um, we look, we have our original bracket here. It is to a power um, and we have another bracket next to it. However, the bracket next to it is not the derivative of what's inside the bracket. You can see the derivative of what's inside the bracket would be 3x squared not 1x squared. So what we do here is we almost add in and then substitute outside. So I'll go through it. So we we can see that if we if we um, put a 3 onto this 3x squared, we will have the derivative of what's inside the bracket. So we put in a 3 next to the x squared and we compensate outside the integral with the 1 over 3 because if you had to multiply in the 3s would obviously cancel. Obviously, keep remembering your dx. They will mark you down if you forget it at any time. Then the minute you integrate, you take away your dx and you're obviously left with your 1 over 3 on the outside and leave it on the outside for as long as possible. Uh, multiplied by, and remember now we have the derivative of what's inside the bracket. So we can simply drop the original bracket down, add 1 to the power, so from 2 to 3, and divide by that same number. So because I have 3 there now, I divide by 3. Simplifying that out would give us this answer at the bottom here. Then if we move over to the third example, also slightly tougher, although fundamentally exactly the same. Here we see we have um, two terms, one on top of the other. Um, always good to flip your exponents up from the bottom and make it a negative exponent. And then what it becomes is always take out um, as many constants as you can. Please note, you cannot take out um, a variable. You can only take out constants. So you take out that 5 and you're left with your bracket that you've obviously brought up and made to the negative a half and your x at the top, which is that x over there. But then the same thing applies. Do we have the derivative of the bracket? No, we just have an x. Um, we don't have 4x, so all we do is we add in the 4 and we compensate outside with the 1 over 4 so that when multiplied together, it doesn't make a difference. And then what we do, we leave our constants on the left-hand side of the integral outside for as long as possible, as I said, multiplied by, and because we have the derivative of what's inside the bracket, we can simply drop the bracket down, the original bracket down, add one to the power, so it goes from negative to a half to positive a half over the number we now have at the exponent, which is a half. If you simplify that all out, multiply the constants together, you'll get five over two multiplied by two x squared plus 10 all to the power of a half. Then remember, plus c. Then the next example I wanna show you is the exact same sum, um, example you would have seen in question one, although this is using a different method. I personally do not like this method as it takes a lot longer than the simple method which I had shown you, although I will show you in case they do ask in the paper and they sometimes do um, integrate the following sum 
strictly using U substitution. So this method is known as U substitution. So all we do, we have our derivative next to our bracket, but whatever um, bracket is to the power, we let the inside of that bracket um, equal u. So we say u equals to x cubed plus 3x squared, which is what's inside the bracket with the power. Then what we do, we use, um, we simply differentiate this. So we say du over dx, drop the 3 down, um, minus a power, so 3x squared, plus by drop the 2 down, times by the 3, plus by 6x. Then what we do is because we have the dx in the denominator here, we flip the dx up onto the right hand side and multiply it in. Then we just left with du. So we have du equals to 3x squared plus 6x all multiplied by dx. Then what we do is we go um, back sort of to our original equation and we say, okay, what did we make u? We made u x cubed plus 3x squared. So we say, okay, because this is to the power of 5, it's essentially u to the power of 5 multiplied by du. Now remember, du is equal to this whole bracket and the dx. And what do we get at the top here? We get this whole bracket and the dx. So that essentially just becomes the du. So then we multiply that by the du. Then all we have to do is we add 1 to the power. So we say u 5 plus 1, which is u to the 6 over that, na that new exponent, which is 6, plus by c. Then the main thing, which a lot of students do forget to do, is to sub back what you made equal to u. So you sub that back in and you get your answer. That concludes the video on an introduction to integration. My next video will focus on more specific um, integration examples. Thank you very much.